Okay, so this video is not for those of you who want to become a hacker in the next two to three weeks. This video is for somebody who actually wants to learn how to become an ethical hacker, whether it is bug bounty hunter or a penetration tester. So I keep seeing videos that say everything you need to know in order to become a bug bounty hunter or an ethical hacker. And in these videos, all they do is pull up a PowerPoint or just list off five things such as learn Linux, learn Windows, learn some privilege escalation, and maybe five of the 10 OWASP top 10 and boom, you're ready to go. And I can say that I am guilty of doing some of these similar things, maybe not to the same level. And they've just started to annoy me. So I decided to make a video that doesn't just say you need to go and learn these things, but actually show you where you're going to go to learn the information that you need and the best places that will be free and those that will cost as little money as possible. We're all familiar with those tutorials that are really worthless and look something like this. Okay, in order to become a hacker, all you need to do is come to offensive security. You will go to calilinux.org and then you're going to install a Kali Linux image by clicking this button right here. It doesn't really matter which one that you download. You just click one and install it. And then as soon as you've finished installing that, you just need to learn a little bit of Linux, a little bit of Windows, a little bit of privilege escalation, and bang, you're able to read this code right here. This is the YouTube algorithm. And right here, you can see this is the part that just kind of gets everybody and they really struggle with getting their videos out there. Come on, man. What are we talking about? And in the process of this, you don't really learn anything at all. All they do is tell you you need to learn a bunch of things and they don't even tell you where to go or where to start. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the thing I think you need to do first is start learning Linux, the commands and how to navigate Linux. And a great place to practice this for free is gonna be over the wire. And you'll just go to Google, type in over the wire and you can just click on bandit over the wire right here. And this is gonna give you the levels and it's gonna be really helpful for you to learn the Linux commands. And if you're okay with a paid subscription, you can come over to try hack me and you can log in and then just type in Linux fundamentals and you're gonna have the Linux fundamentals and you can also do this with Windows as well and it's gonna load up for you the Windows fundamentals this is really gonna give you a good grasp on understanding the commands and the terminal language within each one of these operating systems and you're gonna need to know this so you need to start here and learn this first once you have a good handle on Linux I would say go ahead and install a virtual machine and I show you how to do this at the beginning of almost every single course that I make. You can download VMware and if you're on a Mac you'll download VMware Fusion and you can just download a Kali image which I will walk you through. I'll link everything in the description throughout this video and you'll have access to everything that I'm going to show you. So one of those courses will be linked down below and you can click on it and it'll show you how to install a virtual machine but once your virtual machine is installed you're going to need to download a text editor and so we'll link a video for that as well and you're going to need to learn a programming language. I'm going to go ahead for the sake of this video and tell you you need to learn Python. If you're looking to be a professional ethical hacker, then you are going to need to learn a programming language. And I'm going to say you need to learn this before you even start looking into any exploits or vulnerabilities. But one thing I can promise you this, I will always tell you the truth. Because it's going to be the basic foundation that's going to give you a good push in the right direction. And you'll be way ahead when you do start learning exploits and you need to understand what is going on. And you're trying to read through exploits and understand how they work. You'll be able to see the code and understand it. You'll also be able to read other languages outside of just Python because a lot of the web development languages are going to be pretty similar to the way that Python is written. And so I would say just learn Python. If you're looking for a free place to learn the basics of Python that I think you need to know, you can check out these three videos on my YouTube channel. They are getting kind of old now. It's been about four months, but this is going to be a great place for you to start. If you're looking to get a little more advanced, you can come to Udemy and I'm going to say that this 100 days of code with Dr. Angela Yu is going to be the best course if you're looking to learn Python in a comprehensive way. I think that this course for our purposes is going to be overkill, but it is probably one of the best for the cheapest price. It's $11.99 US and I just don't think you can beat that. And her teaching is top notch and high quality. So if you're looking to learn Python beyond just what I have to show you on YouTube, this is going to be the place to go. And as soon as you learn Python, I would say turn your attention to Bash and actually have a video on bash as well right here I have this video and I show you bash for cybersecurity and I'm gonna tell you this is going to be basically all you need to know you don't need to take a bash course this is going to give you the fundamentals and everything that I think you need to know you don't need to know bash
cache really well. It's just gonna be helpful for you to know some basic commands to speed up your daily processes. And I accidentally said this video right here, it's gonna be this one right here. It's a little longer, 40 minutes and 33 seconds. So now you have a really good handle on Linux and Windows and a programming language and you're able to navigate around. It's time to start your ethical hacking journey. And I would say one of the most fun things in the beginning is gonna be going through the OWASP top 10 and you can practice these on portswigger.com and you can work through their CTFs. And the best place to practice this is gonna be in this course right here, the beginner to advanced bug bounty hunter. This is gonna give you a really good grasp and handle on web application testing. I would say go ahead and work your way through this course. I am not gonna tell you what you need to learn because I think what you need to learn I have included in this course and isn't gonna waste your time. And once you have finished that course, I would say go and check out my complete ethical hacking course. It is also free on YouTube and you can just skip ahead to the network portion of that course. And I'm gonna actually walk you through some hack the box and actually how to get remote code execution. And we're gonna practice there. What I think you need to know before you're ready to go out on your own and start attacking boxes on something like try hack me or hack the box. Once you've worked through those two courses, you're foundation is going to be really strong and you'll be ready to go out on your own and start attacking boxes but there is a limitation on these courses i'm not actually able to walk you through things such as pivoting proxy chains or using metasploit for port forwarding and you're going to need to know these and you're probably going to have to get a subscription to hack the box in their ethical hacking training in order to practice these types of attacks because they are something you're going to need to know before you start working towards any kind of certification if you're wanting to be a penetration tester and you're also going to need to enroll in some sort of active directory training i think tcm the cyber mentor has some really great training on this i'm not really sure i haven't gone through any of it but i know that he really emphasizes active directory and his resources are greatly loved within the hacking community so i would check him out for active directory and hack the box for pivoting port forwarding and proxy chains also some metasploit port forwarding but you should learn active directory along with port forwarding and proxy chains at the end of your journey right before you're ready to start taking the certification exams so i hope this was helpful and now you know what you need to learn and the places to go in order to learn it thanks for watching